So today, I just want to go over the concept of uh, what super eruption of teeth mean, and I'm gonna give you like a like a visual demonstration as to what that is and how it can affect you. So so these are all stone models of of teeth. Uh, they are they are actually models of, of, of my patients. So so these are technically um, you know real teeth in, in, in people's mouths, except that they're the, the stone made version of it because we were doing our dental work on them. Okay, so super eruption of the teeth is is when uh, teeth kind of grow down or grow up. So here is is the perfect example of it. You see you see how this tooth is a lot longer than the one over here because this this tooth started to to come down. Right, it started to come down because this tooth got got really short and, and the patient never replaced it. You can kind of see it here as well for for this one. You, if you can kind of see this one is taller than this one, right? The reason why it's it's taller is because there's no tooth on top, so it's trying to trying to grow up, all right? So if you look at some more normal teeth like like these, all right? You see how like all the teeth are pretty much like in like a straight line, all right? It's it's in a straight line because you know the for the bottom teeth, the top teeth hold the bottom teeth down, and the the top and the the top tooth would be is being held up by the bottom tooth, right? And you can kind of see that concept for like all of these teeth here. We can look at it like a different model here as well, right? It, 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 you can kind of see it's like it's pretty much a straight line going across, right? So. In general, the top teeth hold the bottom teeth down and the bottom teeth hold the top teeth up. So super eruption happens when, when you happen to be missing teeth, right? Just like how the, you're missing a top tooth here and the bottom tooth is basically like gone. <laughs> so um, essentially like why that kind of happens is that I like to explain it as the teeth getting lonely, right? So. So teeth like to be in in pairs, right? So if you're if you're missing the, the bottom tooth, the top teeth will get lonely and they'll start drifting down to try to find its soulmate, but it won't ever find it because you got rid of it, right? And the same thing happens if you're missing the the top tooth, the bottom tooth will start to grow up looking for its soulmate, but you know it's not there because you you got rid of it. So uh, why this is important is because you know if if you if you have a tooth removed or extracted and you don't replace it, the teeth will start drifting around, and that becomes a problem because if it if this tooth grows too far down, you're not gonna be able to replace that tooth there. It kind of same thing up here. If this one grows all the way up and starts touching the gums, the, you're not gonna be able to replace the, the top tooth anymore. The, like the longer you you, you kind of leave it be, and then you you may end up needing to have to take out this tooth, and then you. We we'll get an implant on the top and the bottom, and that just makes the procedure a lot more expensive. Um, so you know, if you think about it, you know, right after you got to get get one of the teeth taken out and you replace it, you can avoid this entire situation. All right, and that's about it for this.